Oh yeah, it's your boy, Chain J.G. Cooper coming to you live from Asheville, North Carolina. I had made a decision yesterday while serving at church that I was going to do this video. And uh, the, the funny thing is, is, is that, you know, I was having a conversation with my sister, Melanie, um, who you see on the, the, the pen uh, fit photo that I use for this video. We was outside, we were serving in the hot sun, welcoming people to church, telling them, we're glad you're here, and we meant it. You know what I'm saying? And we got to talk about life, and she's stayed in multiple states, and, and so she's in the IT world. So, you know, you get to meet people when you're serving at church, you know what I'm saying? And um, she's in the IT world, and so we was talking about our careers and everything, and, and when she was telling me about her career, she had let me know that her, her job title was, um, was lead solution strategist you feel me her her name her title is lead solution strategist and, and when she was telling me about that job title right when i heard it so y'all already know some of y'all just deep anyway it's always deeper than you think some of y'all heard me say lead solution strategists and y'all immediately started to think deep same thing i did you did but she said lead solution strategist and I was like, wow, I like I like that title. So what all do you do? And she was like, well, you know, when people purchase software, I help them learn how to maximize utilizing that resource. She helps them learn how to maximize the resource that they have. She is a lead solution strategist. Woo! Watch out now. I'm about to have church right here on Patton Avenue. But, but let me tell you, when I think of like the work that I get to do that God chose me to do. Like, I feel like that job title definitely aligns with solution strategists. In this world, in this day and age, especially, especially in the area where I live in Buncombe County, you know, we have a lot of nonprofits. We have a lot of organizations that are getting grant funds to do this and do that. You know what I'm saying? And we got resources, fam. We have resources at the yin yang. You dig what I'm saying? We got a ton of halfway houses. We have different organizations that have funding to help people get into halfway houses. We have organizations that are giving out cell phones to people whenever they return home from incarceration or treatment. We have we have organizations that are that are providing you know uh, 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 what is it called? Um, called not a uh, harm reduction. We got uh, uh, acupuncture. Some of them providing acupuncture. Uh, and, uh, acupuncture, <laughs> acupuncture. You got seek healing, and they're providing resources like looking at the whole person with different types of you know uh, uh, of resources that that people typically don't think about. You know what I'm saying? Some people give out gym memberships. You got the YMCA who will give out a discounted membership depending upon your income. There are so many resources that you can get overwhelmed if you get to talk about the resources, right? You got some resources that can help pay for a bill if you get behind on rent, but there's a caveat to that. But you got some resources that can help people that are chronically uh, uh, homeless. You got some resources that can help people with a, with a chronic illness, with getting medication that you can't afford. You got some resources that can help you get that tooth extracted, but you got to understand the process of, of going and, and standing in line at a certain time to get that tooth extracted. You got some people posting on Facebook about needing help with getting an ID for a returning citizen. There is a way around that to get an ID, but you got to know which DMV is allowing walk-ins and what time you got to get there. What's up, Jackson County? I heard it was a good spot to go get your IDs. Uh, uh, uh. You got to know what is needed if a person needs to get their social security card. There is somebody who can help you get your social security card and there is a process. If you've been locked up, you can get a sealed medical record and a sealed healthcare record from a treatment center will also suffice. That is a way around to be able to send off an application and order your social security card. Listen, follow me, follow me, follow me. I'm talking about lead solution strategies. I'm talking about learning how to maximize what resources you have. I'm talking about how to know what is available and not just know what's available, not just understand it, but apply it. But if you don't understand it, you can't apply it. You hear that in recovery. Through understanding and application, it works. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy K. But let me tell y'all something. When I heard my sister say that she was the lead solution strategist, and I heard her say that she works with people who have certain software and help them learn how to maximize the, and, and utilize the resource that they have, I already went deep. And I'm going to tell you something, man. As a community health worker, you know what I'm saying? We are tasked with knowing what's available in the community. You feel me? We are tasked with knowing what's up. 
We supposed to be like two one one. You dig what I'm saying? We need we we in the streets with it. We know who's who. We know who who hire criminal people with uh, criminal backgrounds. You know what I'm saying? We know who are, who are recovery friendly white places are. We we out here in the street educating the employers about the the work culture that's needed for a person to thrive. That's that's formerly incarcerated. A person that's in recovery. You know what I'm saying? We out here being conduits. We we out here being links, liaisons, intermediaries between the people and the resources. We help the people understand the resources that they have available and maximize their utilization of the resource. So if you a CHW like me out here in these streets, huh? You a lead solution strategist. You might not be messing with no software though. Shout out to my people in the IT world, computer science and all of that stuff because it's a whole different process when you get on them computers. You know, when I was going to school at Western Carolina University, you know, for computer information systems in the school of business and I was killing it. I was making good grades and everything, but you know, God saw fit for me to do something else. And when my mom died from pecker cancer, I just didn't go back to school. I continued on in the career that I was on and my career started taking off because, you know, that was God's plan for me to do something different. But something drastic had to happen in my life for me to switch gears. But I say that because, you know, the, the computers, there's a demand for, for, for IT workers and computer science, computer code, you know, coding and all that stuff, you know. And, and my sister, she got that skill set and she been able to travel all around. You know what I'm saying? She a lead solution strategist. And guess what? I'm a lead solution strategist. And I'm out here trying my best, trying my best to help people understand how to maximize the resources that they have access to. Trying to make sure that people understand what resources they have access to. That's why I'm loud. That's why I'm always talking about it. I never keep the resource to myself. I never be trying to. Me, 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 me. Nah. Really about the people. Power to the people. Power to the people strategy. Power to the lead solution strategist. <laughs> yeah, man, I had to do that video though. I thought about that when I was at church and I told her, I was like, uh uh, I gotta do a video about that because I can so relate to helping people understand how to maximize the resources that they have. My name is Shane JJ Cooper. I'm not the answer, but I'm for down short alternative.